So we're going to learn how to replace your bicycle tube, which is very important if you, are, um, if you have a flat or if you need to uh, replace your tire. So basically what you're going to do first is you're going to figure out what size tire you have and also what size valve you need or what type of valve you need. Um, so this tire, basically all tires will say on the sidewall what size they are. This is a 700C by 28, really easy to get at a bicycle shop. So we get the tube, the tube says 700 by 25 to 35, so we'll have a range. You can usually go um, a little bit lower than the range, so this is a 28, so you could do like a 23 to 25, but uh, this, this is a very good range for this tire. Also for this wheel, we're going to need a Presta valve, which basically means a French valve that looks like this. The other valve that's most common in the United States is this valve, which is called a Schrader valve. It's very important that you get the right valve because it's a different size hole in your rim. So to inflate the Presta valve, um, what we're going to do is we take this little screw on the top here, unscrew it. It won't come off. It it's, uh, sticks at the top. Release the air a little bit. Use your pump that's made for a Presta valve and start pumping up the tube just enough so it inflates it so it makes it round. Then you're going to start with the valve, put the valve in first. So once you have the valve in, start pushing the slightly inflated tube into the tire and the rim. Once you have the tire and the tube pushed into the rim and, and the tire, then you can start at the valve by using the back of your hand and pressing the other side of the tire up on to the rim. Making sure that you're not pinching the tube so you don't get a hole in the brand new tube that you just installed. So now that you're coming to the end, um, sometimes it gets really hard, so you have to take your tire lever to push the actual tire up on to the rim. And you just have it upside down, hook it onto the rim, and start pressing it up over the rim, making sure that you're not pinching the actual tube. Once you've installed the tube, make sure that the seam that goes all the way around the tire is, um, looks the same all the way around. You, don't wanna, you wanna make sure that it's not pointing out too much or it's not pushing in too much or else you have a blowout. Now you can pump up your tire to the recommended inflation pressure. So basically it'll say on the sidewall of your tire, say maximum inflation pressure to 85 PSI. So you can obviously do a range, you can do 60 to 80 PSI. Um, somewhere within usually 10 to 20 PSI it is pretty good. Once you get up to pressure, you take off your pump, make sure that you, that you screw down the top of the valve if it's a Presta valve. Or if it's a Schrader valve, make sure you put it on the cap um, so it stays clean. And that is how to replace your tube and your tire. Mm -hmm.